Yes, crossovers are king, but there is still room for sports cars, and Nissan aims to make that point. Its own 370Z has long withered on the production car vine. It needs to evolve. The rest of the competition has gotten better and better, while the 370Z has remained stagnant. But Nissan is going to fix that with this. This is our first look at a future Z. This is the Nissan Z Proto. This is our first look at the next step in the life of the Z car. The Nissan Z Proto shows us what to expect from the upcoming 400Z. There's some clear design nods to the past with strong future touches baked right into it. I've had plenty of experience with Z cars over the years. In fact, I owned one. Back in 99 when I was in college, I had a 1985 Nissan 300ZX. I loved that Z31, even though it wasn't the better turbo version. I loved the T-tops, I loved the two-seater styling. It won me over and I fell in love with Z cars ever since. Years later, I was fortunate to drive a 1972 Datsun 240Z from California to Boston. An amazing drive in a truly iconic car. I've been fortunate to try out every Z except the mighty Z32. Though you can pinpoint the demise of the 90s era sports car partly on the shoulders of that 300ZX. The headlights are inspired by the 240Z. These taillights, clear Z32 homage, plus there's a fair lady badge on it. The roof line is instantly familiar. The shape is well sculpted and this is very much a modernized Z car. This grille looks much better in person. Inside, Nissan has given the Z Proto modern displays, yet it is still a driver focused space. The steering wheel is well done and the vents integrate nicely into the center stack. So here's the important bit hidden under this Datsun-esque hood right here. There's a V30 DDTT. That means it's a three liter twin turbocharged V6. And this should be the 400 horsepower mill found in Infiniti's Red Sport vehicles. Standard on the 400Z at production time should be a six speed manual gearbox with most likely a seven speed automatic as an optional extra. This is true sports car formula applied here. Front engine, rear drive, two seats, manual gearbox, how can you not like this? In profile, this looks a little bit like a Japanese DB11 scaled down a bit. And that's a very good thing, of course. But really, when you look at it from every angle, this is very much a Z car. Sure, under the skin of this specific prototype, it could be a modified 370Z, but that does not matter what is under it right now, because this is just to show us what the new Z is going to look like. And I, for one, am very excited and ready to welcome in a new Z into the world. This is awesome. Get excited.